you have a moment? It's worth your time. You there. There's gold for you if you'll lend me your time. I am a scholar of some import. <laughs> import. That is to say, I've traveled quite far. From Cyrodiil, just to study this forgotten shore. I sorely need an assistant. Azai at Oanok? He's my guide to Alakir. He shows me the best routes and helps me make camp. But he doesn't know much about the great history of this land. I need someone to look around the ruins for an ancient sword. Legend says it only appears to a chosen few. I've had to ask strangers to walk through the ruins to look for it. Untrained eyes. I'm that desperate. Azai at Oenok might tell you where to look, if you're willing. I appreciate the assistance from common folk such as yourself. This sword is a significant specimen of lore, direct evidence of a legendary event in ancient Redguard history. There are books about this, but as you may be illiterate, I'll enlighten you. I suspect this is the site where sword singer Navid slew Ilkub, his ally, over the love of the fair Saide. The blade of a sword singer is a physical link between ancient Yakuta and Alikir. Navid used this particular sword to slay his rival and then himself. As a piece of history, it belongs in a proper imperial museum. The sword singers were so disciplined they could create a spirit sword. A sword made from their very thoughts. Not many could attain such strength of mind. Navid's sword is rare, as it apparently persisted after his death. The blade of a sword singer is a physical link between ancient Yakuta and... That's not important to my research. With sword singer Navid and his rival dead, I expect someone else went on to have a dozen children with fair Saide. Isn't that how these stories go? The important thing is the sword. No one's seen the sword or had any luck amongst these ruins. A pity, really. I had such high hopes for some of them. I'm glad that the Imperial has found someone else to talk to. His haughtiness is suffocating. The sword in question is a wondrous object. And Herminius Sophus believes it will appear to those who have a connection with death or whatever lies beyond. The great scholar from Cyrodiil doesn't know. Imagine that. The magnificent scholar believes that the sword is too damaged to be used anymore, if it even exists at all. He wants to preserve it in a safe warehouse in Cyrodiil, where all the other artifacts have been taken, I imagine. If not me, another would surely stand here. My advice to you is simply to look along the shore. Others searched inland and were disappointed. Yes, indeed it does. It is a story of jealousy and betrayal. Have you not heard the Ballad of Navid? In the early days of the Ragada, a powerful Anse named Yagub led a vanguard of thirteen great warriors, sword singers all. In those days, Red Guard bonds of fellowship were even stronger than they are now. These men were as brothers. One of the warriors, Navid, was strong but covetous. His dearest companion, Ilkub, had met a woman named Saida, whose beauty was legendary. Hair like polished obsidian and eyes like darkest sapphires. Navid's jealousy grew and grew. Yes, just so. While Ilkub stood on the beach stringing his legendary bow, Navid crept up behind and thrust his sword deep into Ilkub's back. Before Ilkub died, it is said that he looked on Navid with such sadness that Navid's heart broke in two. Racked with guilt, Navid fled to his tent, took up his grandest blade, and killed himself. When Saida heard of what happened, she threw herself into the water from the highest cliff. She was not seen again.
Beware. They covet this blade and shall come for it. You must leave this place. The sword is cursed. You seek the sword, is it not so? I must tell you, you were not the first to discover it. Others tried to take it and paid a heavy toll. Take up the blade and you will see. The sword cursed are here among us already, circling like half-starved jackals. Can you not sense their jealousy? Their spite? The air is thick with it. The curse was forged in blood and envy. I murdered my dearest friend in a jealous rage, and the blade bears that taint still. The sword cursed cannot bear the thought of losing the blade. If you touch it, they will come for you. Yes, and they will not stop so long as you carry it. Once you fall, and fall you will, you will be consumed by the same jealous desire that drives them. They are long dead, and thus cannot be killed, though they will sleep for a time. But the blade calls out to them, always. When they wake, they shall seek it out again, and the one who keeps it. You have been warned. Did you recover the sword? We must speak before you go further with it. I did not expect you would find it. Only those who are different are capable of such a feat. What do you intend to do with it? 
Only those with the keenest senses can even see it. And only one without a soul should be able to take it from its resting place. I do not know how you lifted it unless your soul... No matter. What is your intention? A deception. I watch Herminius Sophus so he does not plunder Alakir. I know more than his books have explained. No, it is a deep, ancient curse. There is darkness in that blade that even the Divines would struggle to banish. Sword singer Navid's spirit seeks to distance himself from the blade, but he is the source of its evil. He cannot keep shedding the burden to others. Even if Herminius Sophus escapes the vengeful spirits, he will take the sword to Cyrodiil. However cursed this sword may be, it is still a relic steeped in our history, our heritage. It must stay in the Alakir. That is for the best. Leave it at the lion's tomb on the shore. Then talk to Herminius Sophus before you leave. Perhaps he will abandon his foolish search. Still you took the sword, and now you bring it to my tomb? Are you deranged? The sword curse will return soon. Take the sword away, quickly. I cannot. Do I not suffer enough? It has been centuries since I committed that heinous crime, and the shame is no less potent. That sword is a reminder I cannot bear. Take it away. I may still find some small measure of peace. No! I cannot! I will not! This is all Ilku's fault. His and Saida's. I will... I will... No. Your words are true. Leave the sword with me. Any luck finding the sword yet? So few people will work as hard as I do at these things. I'm not surprised that you didn't find anything. It takes keen eyes and an educated mind to fully identify significant artifacts. I may just abandon this site and go deeper in the desert anyway. I heard there were burial sites. Death comes to us all. May we face it with honor. <laughs> 